Hello everyone, welcome to a painting tutorial by Static Grass Creations. My name is Jason and today I will be showing you how I painted the scribe from Kingdom Death. For this model, I used the skin tone set from Scale Color Artist Acrylics for the first time. Since the scribe has a lot of open skin areas, I thought it was a great opportunity to give my new paints a try. These acrylics come in a tube and are fairly thick. I'm going to be following the instructions that came with the set. And I do use a wet palette for painting, so these paints are a bit thinned down to something that I'm comfortable working with. The first color used is Pink Flesh, covering all the skin areas. I add some Golden Flesh to the mix with the Pink Flesh for the first highlight. For the most part, my light comes directly from above the scribe. The highlight is applied to all the raised areas of the skin. A highlight of pure Golden Flesh is then applied. The first shade is mixed with a mix of burnt skin, crimson, and golden flesh. I made sure to water down this mix as it can make a big difference when applied and I needed better control. Light skin was used as the final highlight for the skin. It was mostly applied to the face to make it the brightest part of the body. The other raised areas got a bit of this highlight on parts closest to where it meets the shaded areas. A mix of moss green and burnt skin is applied to the shaded areas, as close as possible to the brightest highlight for the most effective contrast. Crimson and burnt skin are mixed and watered down substantially, then lightly painted on the elbows, cheeks, knees, and knuckles. This will give the scribe a bit of a rosiness to those parts. After that tint, a mix of golden flesh and crimson is used to make it a bit pinker. And that's it for the instructional part of the skin tone. Here I'm fixing the lines and cleaning up my, any blends that I wasn't happy with. After that I work on the details. I carefully paint black into the eyes first, followed by white, and then black again for the pupil. Vallejo Off-White is applied to the hair. One coat will do since there will be several more layers of other colors following. Games Workshop's Ushap de Bone is painted into the recesses of the hair as the shade. This is also one of my first times using contrast paint. This time I use Iandin Yellow as one coat over the hair. Once dry, I highlight the hair using Rackarth Flesh for a more desaturated look, maybe even graying. I use Seraphim Sepia on the hairline and the deepest recesses in the hair. Vallejo Off-White is used as the final highlight to the hair. I block in the color of the cloth on his lap with Rackarth Flesh. Now I work on the armchair. A mix of caddy and flesh tone and sotet green is used as the base coat for all the arms and the two foot babies. This follows the box art and the teal makes a good backdrop to help bring out the scribe. Some kids love flesh is added to the mix to highlight the arms. I'm focusing on putting those highlights on parts of the arms that are facing towards the top of the model. A final highlight is made with a bit of off-white added to the mix. Again, I highlight the areas of the arms that are facing the top of the model, but this time a narrower area. I paint the fleshy blob holding the arms together with P3 Sanguine Highlight. Corn Red is used to highlight the flesh blob. On the most raised areas of the flesh blob, I do a final highlight of Wazdaka Red. This will give some saturation to the flesh blob. 
I paint the parts of the lanterns and the bracelets of the arms in Retributor armor. Off-white is painted in the center of the lanterns. A thick coat of Reichlin flesh shade is painted over the gold to make the shades. I come back to a Yandin yellow contrast paint and paint the white areas of the lanterns. This will hopefully make it seem like the lanterns have some light in them. Vallejo chrome is used to highlight the gold. I paint black on the raised support bits on the lanterns. I carefully highlight the black parts in light belcher. P3 Thornwood Green is painted onto the lantern tassels and the hair of the foot babies. The tassels and baby hair are highlighted with Ordic Olive. The scribe's draped cloth is highlighted with Ushapti Bone. This is applied quite liberally. A final highlight of off white is applied to the cloth to finish the model. And that concludes my tutorial on painting the scribe from Kingdom Death. I can confirm that painting it is much more enjoyable than building it. It was great using the artist acrylics, I haven't used two paints in a while, and the thickness and texture were interesting and different to work with. I think the instructions were easy to follow, but are more suited for larger scale models like busts, so the shading and glazing will have better effect. I will need to work on more subtle layers to make sure the rosy cheeks don't stand out so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from Static Grass Creations. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe.